Nice night for a walk. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel in today's video where we are going to run over some of the main elements of the Q4 report that was launched today by Plug Power. As you can see from the graph here it is at the moment down with almost 8% and unfortunately the stock is keeping a downtrend that started from its height at 26th of January where it was at 73.18 US dollars a share and as we speak it is down to 46 20 US dollars a share, so a significant decrease from the heights. So the natural question is obviously first to take a look at the Q4 results. And if we take from a very high level perspective, it would be the easy conclusion to say, hey, they had an expectation of an EPS on minus 0.0726 US dollars, and they actually reported minus 1.12 dollars. So that's obviously a huge difference. Similar with the revenue, there was an expectation of 87.1 million, and they actually reported a negative revenue. And obviously this is here where you start to think, ah, okay, negative revenue, something is going on here there is a further explanation to the numbers that we need to understand because obviously it is not a common thing to have a negative revenue so again high level wise you need to be careful not being deceived by these two numbers because there's more to it than this and we're going to illustrate in this video why this is the case so if we take a look at the relationship that Plug Power has with two of its big customers that we covered in our separate video on Plug, which is Walmart and Amazon, they basically had a quite significant impact on the results of Plug Power in this quarter because they have a unique contractual relationship. This relationship was built back in the days where Walmart and Amazon saw an opportunity to use Plog's fuel cells because they were Plog compatible with the existing forklifts they were using, which made it easier for them to adopt the technology of Plog Power in their operations. An exchange was done in 2017 initially where Plog offered them warrants for its stocks in exchange for every dollar that was spent on purchases with Plog. So basically, depending on how much Walmart and Amazon was going to spend on Plug, this would lead to an exchange where they would get warrants in stocks of Plug. So if we take a deeper look at the agreements that Amazon has done with Plug, we can see from this table that they basically have three different levels that is called tranches. They have the first, they have the second and the third. If we take the first one, which you should see as the first step, it is that when Amazon had bought for $15 million of Plug products, they would get access to 13.8 million shares in Plug, and they would be able to buy them at a price of 1.1893 US dollars. And as you can see here, Amazon has already passed this threshold. A similar thing for the second tranche, 50 million again and the exact same rules. The third one is $400 million, so considerably more, but here they would get access to $35.9 million a share, but the exercise price would be a lot higher at 13.81 US dollars a share. You just saw before what the share price of Plug Power is, so you can obviously see that this has been a very good deal for Walmart and Amazon to do, Basically, they have over the last two years, in 2018 and 2019, accounted for first 66% of the total sales in 2018 and 50% in 2019. We know that Amazon has qualified for the first tranche and the second tranche, while as Walmart, as far as we know, have only qualified so far for the first tranche. So by knowing this, we know obviously that the biggest customer of the two is Amazon. And obviously, the issue for Plug in this instance is that the share price have gone up so much over the past uh, six months to one year. So Amazon decided to exercise some of the warrants and Plug therefore recorded an approximate 450 million in non-cash charges related to these warrants. 356 was done for this quarter and 100 million is for the full year. So essentially, obviously this has been a good deal for Plug in the sense that they have been able to get the revenue going. They have sold a lot of products to these customers, which has kind of like been a, a stamp of, of the quality of the products. However, for Amazon and Walmart, it has obviously also been a great deal because they have basically now with this the, the, the exercise of the warrants and the current share price, they have in theory been paid to buy Plug products. 
And obviously this is one of the reasons why perhaps the share price is going down today, which should not be the case because this deal was done in 2017. So it should already be built in to the stock price. But it seems a bit like the market has forgotten this deal because the, the, the stock is reacting quite negatively to these news. The good thing at least is that it seems this is at least what Plog is stating, that all the expenses for this customer program have now been fully accounted for, which means in the future there will be much more transparency in the revenue numbers. They will not get uh, impacted by these uh, charges for, for, for warrants of stock. So it seems like uh, there will be no more uh, warrants uh, to be exercised by Amazon or Walmart for that matter. So if we then take a step back and we look at the numbers and we try to adjust them for these one-time non-cash charges, without this, it actually doesn't look too bad for plot power. They are beating EPS and they are also beating revenue overall. And over the last year, they have had a revenue growth of approximately 46%. So this is a one-time thing that is not supposed to happen again in the future. And that's why, at least from our side, it doesn't really make sense uh, to, to, to consider them highly for the future. You could raise the question, will Amazon and Walmart keep buying plug products or has this just been a part of, of trying to optimize the scheme? Well, considering that they almost uh, reached the, the, the trenches in 2018 and 2019, where the share price of plug was very low, we don't think that has been the intention at all to do so. So again, we do not see this as a consequence that Amazon and Walmart are not going to continue buying plug products in the future unless they have been dis dissatisfied with the performance of them. So overall, we think that there's not too many things that has changed in the investment case on plug power. As we have said in our previous individual video on them, we think that they are one of the better picks out there. They seem to have a very interesting strategy. They have a strong balance sheet with over $5 billion in cash. Uh, they are on track to deliver their race 2021 and 2024 financial targets. They are increasing the hydrogen generation target to 500 tons per day by 2025, and they want to reach 1,000 tons per day in 2028. They have now added a fourth, what they call pedestal still customer, which I'm not sure who is, but I think there was some speculation that it's going to be Microsoft. Please provide a comment in the comment section if I've missed something on this one. And they have also selected their site for the Gigafactory, which we also described in the video as one of the critical factors for success in the future. It is similar for all hydrogen companies. They need to build scale. And finally, very interesting, they're continuing to make progress on moving multiple plants forward, and they expect to complete two green hydrogen generation plants by the end of 2022. So again, overall, there's not a single thing that has changed based on the announcement of the warrants. I mean, everything is still going as uh, Plug is announcing to the market. So again, we would not be hugely concerned with the drop as of today. Finally, Plug Power has put forward four major goals for 2021. One of them is to accelerate again the expansion in the green hydrogen generation business. They want to successfully launch the JVs that they have recently announced with Renault and SK Group in South Korea, which will give them access to a more global footprint. For Renault, it is a target uh, to, to capture some of the commercial light vehicle market in Europe, which is expected to grow to around 500,000 in 2030. On SK Group, it is a much more wider uh, strategic initiative in South Korea, where they want to attack both uh, green hydrogen generation, they want to have infrastructure for, for fuel. So they have quite wide ambitions there. And it's we have mentioned that in several other videos, South Korea is one of the key markets for hydrogen in the future. And finally, they want to expand with more partnerships, JVs and acquisitions in the hydrogen ecosystem. And they want to expand the customer relationships across all the businesses, obviously, to achieve the 750 million in gross billings by 2022. So obviously we can see from the revenue that they have this year, which was around 337 million, it is a significant growth that is also expected to happen in the coming years. Does this mean that Plug Power is an attractive investment from our perspective? Well, overall, we will say 
obviously the market has reacted a bit bad to the news that that Plock has issued today regarding these warrants, but we also feel that it is again a drop is based on the general sentiment towards hydrogen stocks. A lot of the hydrogen stocks are going down today. And we have said that many times in our videos, we see a great future for some of these hydrogen companies, not necessarily all of them, but for some of them, we see a good future. However, a lot of the increase in the share prices over the last six months to one year have not always been justified in the numbers. And we therefore think it's actually a healthy pullback uh, that some of these companies are experiencing. If you look at the price to sales ratio they're still extremely expensive and there's not necessarily any guarantee that they're all going to deliver on the targets that they have set forward in the future although as we have said many times there is many ambitious hydrogen plans around the world from a lot of governments so again we see plug power as an invest an interesting uh, company and it would definitely not be the last one that we would pick among the bunch and we actually think that if you invest in them today and you keep these stocks for two or three years, you will probably see a pretty good result. Uh, however, short term wise, the market is so volatile that we again prefer to stay out uh, until it at least has dropped quite a little bit more than where it is today. Please keep in mind that we are not professional financial advisors and this is only done for entertainment purposes. This was all we had for today. We really hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe for future content. Please give us a like. It really helps with the algorithm. And please give us a comment in the comment section. What do you think about Plog Pound? What do you think about the results today? Were you satisfied? Is there anything that we have missed that you think it's worthwhile to mention? Besides that, there's not much more to say than have a great night. Stay safe. Hasta la vista, baby.